time for Rick's quick restaurant review. Today, we'll treat ourselves to the Leaky Cauldron. That's in London! Did you hear that, Ern? The Leaky Cauldron, that's in London. The Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before it eats you. Yes, the Leaky Cauldron is in London. The London section of Universal Studios, Diagon Alley to be exact. As we see the night bus on our right, we'll veer left through the brick walls, which some muggles miss altogether. And we'll be entering the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, home to Diagon Alley. And as soon as we enter, we see the Leaky Cauldron on our left. The Leaky Cauldron is a small, grubby looking pub and inn. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry stayed there for several weeks over summer before heading off to Hogwarts for his third year. Several weeks. This is a Rick's quick restaurant review. We won't be here nearly that long. Nearly? The Leaky Cauldron features very traditional British food. So let's take a look at the menu before we head in. And here is the lunch and dinner menus. Here's the entrees. Plowman's for $21.99 serves two. It's a feast of English cheese, crusty bread, field green salad, roasted tomatoes, pickles, apple beet salad, Branson pickle, and scotch eggs. Then you have the fish and chips for $17, fresh North Atlantic cod, battered and fried with chips and tartar sauce. Next up is bangers and mash for $13.99, roasted English sausage, creamy mashed potatoes, roasted tomatoes, sauteed onions and cabbage, minted peas, and onion gravy. And then we have Toad in the Hole, $12, sounds very British. A popular dish of English sausage, baked into a Yorkshire pudding and served with onion gravy, minted peas, root vegetables, and roasted tomato. Beef and lamb Guinness stew for $15.99, served in a warm, crusty bread bowl. And then we have the cottage pie for $16, a savory combination of beef and chunky vegetables in a potato crust, served with a garden salad. There's also fisherman's pie for $16.99. There's salmon, shrimp, and cod baked together under a potato crust served with garden salad. Can't decide which pie to get? They have a mini pie combination for $16.49. A mini cottage pie and a mini fisherman's pie served with a garden salad. Next up is scotch eggs for $7.99, served warm with beet salad and a mustard sauce. And then if you want to be healthy, you can get a soup and salad for $11.49. Then you can get some sides, such as wedge fries for $3.49, a side of scotch eggs for $3.49, a side of mashed potatoes and gravy for $2.49, and you can add a banger for $4.69. And then we have some sandwiches. You can get the banger sandwich for $12.99. Uh, roasted English sausage. Mustard aioli. Roasted tomatoes. Sauteed cabbage and onions on a crusted baguette. And then the most American item on the list, the specialty chicken for $12.99. It is a grilled chicken breast with apple butter mayo, Colby cheese, and smoked apple bacon roasted tomatoes on a house specialty bun. After taking a look at the menu, do you think you know what you want to order? I think so. Let's head inside then. So what did you order, Nikki? So I ordered the beef, lamb, and Guinness stew in, I think, a 
Red Bull? Yes, yes, yes. I almost got that. Yeah. I, I ended up getting the most American thing I could find, the chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's true. Now, excuse us while we have our meal and we'll get right back to it. Before we get to the entrees, we'll let you know what we ordered to drink. I, of course, got your classic butter beer, and Nikki got some gilly water. Yeah. Who's gonna go first? Um, you, you had the more British I did. style entrees, so go with that. I did, so I had the, what was it? The beef, the lamb, lamb. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lamb, beef, Guinness stew is what you had. Yes, I had lamb, beef, Guinness stew. Um, it was pretty good, the meat was very tender. Um, it was hearty, it was hearty. It was, it had a different flavor than I'm used to. It's not like mom's stew. Yeah. Exactly, um, so it was okay. I. It filled me up, it's definitely. A, it is a heartier dish. Yes. But if you're if you're used to mom's like meatloaf and stew, it's a, a little bit of a different flavor. It is, yeah. Now I went with the the specialty chicken sandwich. <laughs> now that was just because what if what if you come here with a family right. and everyone else wants to have it and dad doesn't. Dad That's doesn't true. want to have like the <laughs> British food. Why is it always dad? <laughs> But okay. So I chose that because it was the most American type food on the menu. Okay. Anytime you put bacon on something, it's really good. And cheese. And cheese. <laughs> but what got me, I almost told them not to put on that um, apple butter mayo sauce. Right. That was the best thing about the sandwich. I love that sauce. Right, and you gave me a bite or two, and yeah. I really liked yours. Yeah. I did, I enjoyed yours, definitely. Well, you had the bacon and cheese and chicken and- The did, apple butter. Did, did you have the sauce? <laughs> did you taste yes, the sauce? Yes, definitely. Really, really good. Yeah. Now, like I said, this the food they have there is very British. Yes. I've had the bangers and mash before. I like that better than um, your Guinness right. stew. Right. And what else? Oh, we've had the I've had the fish and chips. Yes. And I think everyone's familiar with what fish and chips are like. Right. So, um, but if you want that real British flair, come to the Leaky Cauldron. Okay. There is also a breakfast menu at the Leaky Cauldron. Breakfast is served until 10.30 a.m. daily. You can get a traditional breakfast for $17.99. That is scrambled eggs, sausage links, black pudding, English bacon, baked beans, grilled tomato, sauteed mushrooms, and breakfast potatoes. There's also a pancake breakfast for $17.99 with three fluffy buttermilk pancakes, crisp bacon, link sausage, and a butter croissant. You can get the American breakfast for $18, fresh scrambled eggs, breakfast potatoes, crisp bacon, and link sausage with butter croissant. There's also apple oatmeal flan with yogurt and fruit for $17.99. It's freshly baked flan with apples and oatmeal served with yogurt and fresh seasonal fruit. Also for breakfast, you can get egg, leek, and mushroom pasty for $18. The pastry wrapped scrambled eggs, mushrooms, leeks are served with breakfast potatoes and fresh fruit. And here's the beverage menu. You can get all three types of butter beer for $8 a piece. Hot butter beer only when it's in season. You can also get pumpkin juice for $5. Tongue tying lemon squash for $5.49. Otter's Fizzy Orange Juice for $5.49. Fishy Green Ale for $5.49. And Peach Tree Fizzy Tea for $5.49. There's also a variety of fountain beverages for $3.99, iced tea, lemonade, and cider. As far as the adult beverages go, they have several different kinds of draft beer. Then they have wine by the glass, which is $7.50. And lastly, fire whiskey, starting at $11. In addition to the drinks that we had, the butter beer and the gilly water and then the entree, we did finish with a dessert. Yes. What was it? It's the butter beer potted cream. Mm -hmm. And it was fantastic. The consistency of it was almost like it was between a pudding and a an American pudding. Yeah. And almost like whipped cream. It was so excellent. I loved it. That's my favorite part of the dinner was the dessert. Yeah, it was. It's a favorite part. Now I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the flavor. Uh -huh. I felt like I wanted like vanilla wafers in it. I oh wanted God. something crunchy in it as well. No, no, it's so. perfect the way it was. It was so good. Now, if you don't want to get dessert there, you can just walk down the alley and go to where, Nikki? You did the video. Lori and Fortescue's Ice Cream Parlor. 
that's your other option for dessert. There you go, guys. Thanks for joining us for dinner at the Leaky Cauldron. Look for more of these in the playlist, Rick's Quick Restaurant Reviews. That's right. More to come. More to come. And with all that being said, my name's Eric. And I'm John. We're from Minnesota. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, time to relax.